in this video we understand the velocity ratio of gear drive so first we study the definitions and then after derive the equation the velocity ratio of gear drive is defined as the ratio of the speed of the driven gear to the speed of the driving gear now here you see the diagram of sport gear so this is our driving gears this is the driven gears means if we want to write down this equation for the velocity ratio then the speed is denoted by the n and for the driven gear we use the term 2 so velocity ratio is equal to n2 upon n1 so driving gear means driving gear is connected with this power source and driven gear is rotated due to this driving gear so it is called as the driven gears so main driving gear is connected with the power source like ic engines electric motors okay and this driven gear is rotated due to the driving gear that's why its name is given the driven gears so first we understand the few parameters first is the d1 so it is a pitch circle diameter of a driving gear so this is driving gear so it have some pitch circle diameter from here so it is called as the d1 d2 is the pitch circle diameters of the driven gear so this larger gear it is a driven gear it have some pitch circle diameter it is denoted as the d2 t1 is the number of teeth on a driving gear so this is driving gear and on the driving gear number of teeth is 8 in this diagram so suppose t1 value is 8 t2 is the number of teeth on the driven gear so on a this driven gear 24 teeth are there so t2 value is 24 so this is called as the one teeth this is second this third fourth five six so t1 is eight and here 24 teeth are there n1 is the speed of the driving gear in revolution per minute means in a rpm means in a one minute how many times this gear is rotated it is called as the n1 and the speed of the driven gear in rpm it is denoted as the n2 so according to this definition the equation of the velocity ratio is the so what is definition speed of the driven gear so speed of the driven gear is n2 divided by speed of the driving gear it is a n1 so we are vr means velocity ratio is equal to n2 upon n1 now we consider if there is a no slip between the pitch cylinder of these two gear wheel the linear speed of the two pitch cylinders are equals so we know that the gear drive is positive drive and there is a no slip between these two drive so when there is a no slip at that time the linear speed of the driving gear and the driven gears are same so linear speed of the pitch cylinder of driving gear is equal to linear speed of the cylinder of driven gears so what is linear speed of the driving gear it is pi d1 into n1 so if we want to find out this length of this driving gear so it is pi into diameter is the d1 so pi into d1 and we need to find out the speed so we need to multiply it with the n1 same way for the linear speed of the cylinder of driven gear it is pi d2 n2 so we can cancel this pi from the both the side then we get this equation d1 into n1 is equal to d2 into n2 now we need to convert this equation in a form of n2 upon n1 as per this definition so n2 upon n1 is equal to d1 upon d2 so this is the our one equation we can find out one more equations by considering the pitch circles now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering for BME subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist so we mentioned the same step that we already study so this is our equation number one now we can add one more equations with this relation it is a number of teeth okay so here we see it's a certain diameter and number of teeth are already specified for finding out the relation of this velocity ratio with the number of teeth we need to consider the circular pitch for both the matching gear remains same so equation of the circular pitch for the driving gear is pi d1 divided by t1 t1 is equal to number of teeth and the equation of the circular pitch 
for the driven gear is pi d2 upon t2. So both the value are same because they are in a mass. So this pi pi is cancel and we get this equation d1 upon d2 is equal to t1 upon t2. Now from this equation 1 and 2, we can also write this equation as velocity ratio of gear drive is n2 upon n1 is equal to d1 upon d2. It is according to equation number 1 and from the 2, d1 upon d2 is equal to also t1 upon t2. So this is our final equations. Now what we conclude from these equations, okay, means here in this diagram we see that on a this driving gear number of t is 8. So value of t1 is 8 divided by t2. So here 24 t are there. So what is the velocity ratio? Velocity ratio is equal to 8 divided by 24 is equal to 1 upon 3. Means this n2 is rotated 1 revolutions and when n1 is rotated 1 revolutions when this driving gear is rotated 3 revolutions because 8 8 t are there here 24 t are there. So this gear is rotated 3 times at that time this driven gear is rotated 1 revolutions. So that we find out by using these equations. Suppose in a numericals the n1 n2 is given t1 is given so we are able to find out t2. If number of t is given one speed is given then we are able to find out the second speeds. So this is the equation for velocity ratio of gear drive. So thank you. Now what the other thing we understand from this equation. Suppose both the gear have the same number of teeth means 24 24 at that time velocity ratio is 1 means both the gear are rotated with the same speed now third possibility is that on a driving gear the more number of teeth are there means we consider this bigger gear is driving gear and this is a driven gear so it's a less number of teeth so driving gear is t1 hour it have a 24 teeth divided by t2 which have 8 teeth so answer is the 3 so velocity ratio is 3 means driven gear is rotated 3 times speed than the driving gear suppose this driving gear is rotated with 100 rpm then the driven gear is rotated at the 300 rpms so that is a different 3 possibilities are there both the gear have a same speed if number of teeth are same second possibility is that the velocity ratio is less than 1 so when the velocity ratio is less than 1 when this t2 is higher than the t1 and third possibility is that the velocity ratio is greater than 1 so when it is greater than 1 so when it is greater than 1 what is the possibilities that is that t1 is higher than the t2 so there are the three different possibilities are there so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends.